Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode here, like I said, following up the C2X blockchain and the games that they have available currently on there. Uh, soon to be X-Play, like I said there, with the transition uh, migration there uh, over to X-Play. So, the first one I came across um, following, of course, Summoner Wars uh, is going to be Idle Luca. Um, hope I'm saying this correctly. Uh, it's a super fun game. Uh, I'll show you guys some gameplay here in a, in a little bit. Uh, but I've had a blast, like I said, playing this game, uh, checking it out, learning how its its mechanics work, um, and then kind of just enjoying the idle part too. Um, I used to hate idle type games, but when it's done appropriately, and I feel like this this game really does do it appropriately, uh, it does it does create kind of a balance. You don't feel like you're so much XP wasting if you're not currently playing the game, and uh, it doesn't give you like an overpowered you know, sense of like, well, all I have to do is sit here and watch it and it'll do its own thing or, you know, better basically you advance the game by never even touching it. No, it's not like that. So it, it just kind of offsets your, your logged off time uh, to kind of help you still progress and not have to feel like you have to be playing it 24 hours a day. So Idaluka, you can see it's kind of like the side type scroller uh, sort of thing. Um, it is auto play in the sense that your characters automatically attack, but you can do full auto control. Like I said, I'll show you a little bit more about that. Uh, four classes, uh, six different attributes, and uh, kind of go over how those those function and, and work a little bit. Uh, I love the characters. Characters each each unique. Uh, I love the art style that they brought to it, um, and kind of the design. Just the overall design is is something that's very appealing. Uh, and then here is where the, you know, bread and butter, the uh, cryptocurrency side. So Idoluka is that idle RPG. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to play the game. You're going to acquire the in-game tokens. And then you can use the in-game tokens to swap for the actual crypto side tokens. Uh, love the in-game tokens. They're Donut and Parfait. Uh, can't really earn Parfait quite yet because that's more of an in-game sort of thing. I've only been playing for about a day, so we haven't reached any any level of that yet. Uh, but the uh, the donuts, you can kind of start earning uh, pieces, puzzle pieces, and then assemble them uh, and kind of take it from there. So we're we're working on that flow right now with some donuts to get to see how this 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 pans out. So like it says here, you do the normal adventures, daily quests, those kind of things, earn donut, and then they they are interchangeable. So like if you want to use something in the, the uh, parfait shop to make yourself more powerful uh, you essentially can and then um, externally if you exchange these either one uh, you can exchange them across the board here too uh, for the ILT or the C2X uh, currency that's going to be the actual outflow to the cryptocurrency exchange got a good roadmap ahead like I said they're in the middle of the transition on the back end uh, but basically they're they're continuing to update the games there too. And then of course there was an airdrop event. Uh, but yeah, Idle Luca has been quite fun. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump into some gameplay and uh, see how this goes. Right, so let's hop into some gameplay uh, with Idle Luca we've been talking about. And just kind of show you a little bit here. Uh, that way you can see some of the actual action and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so. Of course, you got your dailies, little event thing that's going on here. Nothing too, too new or extraordinary on that front. Uh, and then we look over here. Love the characters. Uh, this character that you see here on the screen is actually one of my favorites to use, just because I love the art style. The whole like slime stack, and they like have a javelin type thing, and they fight fight for you and all that. Uh, but yeah, you basically have this team that you set up with champions and you go into battle uh, with them. Uh, so you first you have your like your summoning area where you can summon uh, a number of different ones. We'll go ahead and pay to have one of them summon. Normally get these tickets each day. I already summoned mine today. So I'll show this. And yeah, so you summon a champion basically. Uh, they've got all these different stats that you can help build and uh, place. And then when you go into the adventure portion, you... Uh, it's kind of twofold here it's like uh so like here's the idle part so like when you're not playing it's just kind of uh slowly progressing forward and filling up your cart with loot and then you can uh, actually cash out that loot when you come back in to play 
uh, which is pretty pretty cool. And then when you're ready to actually jump into the, the fight, uh, you can actually hit start here and form out your, uh, your team. Uh, it kind of matters to your team composition uh, wise on here. You can see the elements change at the top and then the configuration of your placement actually gives bonuses depending on what those elements are and where you've put them uh, and kind of showing you what you're going to go up against. Now I do have a fast play kind of enabled right now because I watched some ads to get the fast play. Uh, so it's going to move pretty quickly, but uh, basically when they go into battle, you can do full manual if you prefer. Uh, but then your uh, your team kind of just goes in and uh, unleashes all hell on uh, on the enemies here. And then you get your, your reward at the end. Uh, I just enjoy the characters a lot. I've been enjoying this game here for about a about a day or so that I've been playing. Um, and it's been it's been quite fun. And, you know, it sets you right up to the the next the next party uh, configuration to go into battle. Uh, you have like your main town, like you would typically in this type of uh, a role playing game type thing, uh, where you have all your different um, like your hall of glory. As you advance, you get different rewards. Your shop, your uh, you know shrine of evolution, where you can sacrifice you know other champions to level up your current ones. So you can see like I have this one, and then if I had another one, I could sacrifice it to level it up and it kind of progresses uh, the unique thing about this particular game uh, with Ida Luca is that it's kind of unlimited is the way that they've they've structured it with an unlimited quest system uh, it just kind of keeps revolving and so you can essentially just play forever uh, you're not going to ever like reach the end of the road and and the game be over and then uh, basically we go in here to the shop you'll see uh, these countdowns that you see in the first two and the second one here. Oh, it's not going to show it to me because I already used it today. Basically, um, you acc accumulate these um, pieces, these these uh, puzzle pieces, and they summon... Um, that particular one is going to summon from the daily quest and the daily uh, type acquisition is going to summon Donut. Uh, donut is actually the uh, in-game currency. Uh, that is essentially going to translate over to the crypto backing thing. So uh, we'll go into more uh, breakdown, or like we have talked about, uh, more breakdown as far as like the, we were talking about the normal adventure and then the daily questing and then the don to, to get donut. And then the other one, of course, is parfait, which is going to be more of that like top adventure ranking rewards. So of course I don't, uh, I'm not in a situation yet to rank higher up on the list. I've only been playing for a day, so we won't, we won't really receive any of the, the parfait, but uh, you can still get the donut by uh, going through and collecting that. Uh, I think if we go in here, so it's like, yeah, you see I have like six of them. Uh, if you have 50 pieces, you can assemble it into a ticket uh, and then activate the ticket to receive the donut currency um, and then kind of, you know, take it from there. I think this is asking me to use. Yeah, that's why I'm going to use, the, use those because I reached uh, over the, the threshold amount, which is cool. and mock that piece. All right. So uh, this is pretty much the uh, Idol Luca game. Uh, it's quite quite fun. Like I said, breaking it down, um, the two different cryptocurrencies, and then exchanging it over on the C2X network. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. You can jump right into the battle, you know, go on to the next one, um, level up your characters. And then if you, uh, you know, of course, get busy or have to go do something else, you can totally uh, let the idol kind of level up for, or level up some some of the way for you. It kind of just offsets the XP waste, as it might be said. Uh, so yeah, this is the first game I came across um, that I really enjoyed uh, sending it out from this IP. Like I said, I originally, originally heard about this from Summoner Wars, and then stumbled onto this one and have been loving this one ever since. Uh, I like all the different characters that you can unlock and level up. Uh, and then I, I look forward to seeing seeing the earning potential and kind of seeing what we can what we can do here going forward. Uh, you, you know, I like the fact that your character gathers supplies and that kind of thing. Uh, there's also a season pass, so you can purchase these. Um, I like this. The mobile structure is pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, I, you'll hear me mention this a lot in my videos, especially when we're going over gameplay and, and how these economies work. The thing you're going to be looking for is how does the developer 
um, get their cut, essentially. Where, where is the yield coming from that, that allows them to continually make content and produce the, the game? And, and where is this currency backing essentially coming from? And you can see it's from injections like this. Like you go to the special shop and you can purchase you know, your typical mobile game type uh, little bonuses, um, extra summoning, extra growth power, equipment, packages, those kind of things. This one does seem somewhat pay to win, uh, but of course you're not really PvPing per se, so it's not indirect uh, conflict there. Um, you can also buy the uh, the donut delivery ticket packages, so I'm not quite sure, like I said, um, how this functions per se, because that doesn't really make sense to me, but we'll see how this, this plays out once I get the first one, and then we'll kind of compare uh, the, you know, getting the donuts and like how that translates over into the C2X cryptocurrency and where that goes from there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, me going over, over this game, and I look forward to uh, showing you a couple more that they have uh, going on here in the C2X ecosystem, uh, soon to be exploited.